Hey, hey everyone, happy Tuesday. This is Vernie, and we're doing another Vault video. This is Season 2, Week 14. Uh, so, I mean, here we're probably nearing the middle of the season. I think some people are expecting 10.1.7 to be coming out shortly-ish. But 10.2 is not expected until after BlizzCon, which is in November. So I think we may be here for a while. Um, So... Just back to the vault stuff. I did do a vault on every character this week. Somehow managed to do it. So we will just go ahead and just burn through all the dungeon characters. Uh, so I did a 17 on the DK. What are we hoping for? Bracers. I guess a myth track helm or shoulders would be cool. My trinkets are good. Rings are pretty good. This whole side of my character is max, so... I mean... Chances are we'll just need to take tokens. Unless we're very lucky. Myth shoulders, which we have. Okay, well, that sucks, because if we had been the helm or the chest, we would have taken it, but... We will take the tokens, and that means next week, if we have another dud... We can take... A socket. Who else we got down the list who did just one dungeon? The Rogue. So last week, I didn't do too many dungeons. I did like six or seven heroic raid clears, but the reason I didn't do too many dungeons on my other characters is that I was trying to gear my Shaman. My Shaman got brought in for Mythic Echo over my Shadow Priest just because it's a little better. It's melee, so it doesn't have to move as much. It's got better two-target cleave. And has pretty good ad cleave for the end, so I've been playing Enhance. I did about 25 dungeons last week to craft all my gear. We'll get to that at the end of the video. That'll be the, the prime character. No, the Rogue did a 16. And I guess we're just looking for something juicy mythic track. So, helm, chest, bracers, neck. Uh, a dice would be cool. Or a weapon, I guess. And we'll just stay sub, because we've been playing sub, having fun with sub. Which is pretty good damage in dungeons. Pretty fun still. Helm! Hey, with leech! Oh shit! That is dirty. That's a good that's a good upgrade. Okay, we'll take that. <laughs> We're happy with that. Haste verse. The stats are not ideal, but I don't think you get to complain with Myth Track and Leech. Very nice, very nice. Alright, who do we have next? The Evoker. The Evoker did 120. I just decided to do a 20 as Aug because Aug is pretty easy and it was fortified. So I think we did a 20 under rot. Obviously I got a portal there. Not exactly hard in this point in the season. Aug makes things so fucking easy. And this character. Um I guess like an Iridius Fragment? A Myth Iridius Fragment would be good. Spoils would be okay. Uh, any tier that's not a chess piece that we could catalyze into 447 tier would be awesome. And obviously we don't want to see Cloak or wrist because those are our uh, embellishments. Really anything else would be great. Still don't have a Legendary Weapon, but we'll get one eventually. Bracers. Oh, no, man. Uh... Okay, well... I either take tokens... I have, like, no sockets on this character. I'm missing three sockets. There is a world where I take these bracers. Because they're not that good for Og. I mostly play Og now. I have these bracers for preservation. But maybe there's a circumstance where I build the hailstone treads and replace the bracers. Hmm. It's pretty minor either way. I'm not really trying to min-max Aug. I, 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 I played Preservation as like the main spec on this guy. Uh... Do I have any replacement bracers that are, like, equivalent? Let's put in wrist, I guess. 
I have champion drag bracers. Okay, I'm actually I'll take the bracers, you know, and maybe I'll craft a uh, a set of Kalestone treads down the line just for augmentation. It's technically better. The stats are not super good, but this character's what 442. We we can't complain too much about it. Like getting side grades at this point is expected. All right, the druid also did a 16. I think after this, all we have is the DH for the raid only character, or for the uh, dungeon only characters. Now this week, my shaman went up four item levels. He's 443, I think, so we'll be focusing a little less on him, and we'll kind of probably just decide to have fun or we feel like it. You know, uh, I ran a lot of raids last week just trying to fill out raid character or raid slots for trinkets. That's what mostly what we're missing. This guy did a 16. Looking for Myth Track tier. I have a good weapon. I guess a Myth Track Boomkin weapon or Boomkin trinkets would be good, like uh, spoils. Hopefully, not belt or boots. Those are our embellishes. <laughs> and of course, it is a belt. Okay, so we're taking a socket. Or, oh, hold on. Is there ever a time where I recraft? into a different slot. I mean, I could recraft bracers. Ah, no. I mean, I'm... Let's be real. This character is not doing a bunch of aspect crests grinding for 447s. He's fine at 437. I don't really play him very often, so I think we're fine with just taking tokens and... Oh, no, I wanted to click. And eventually down the line we'll, you know, fill out a socket. We could still use three more sockets on him. All right, and the DH did one key as well. My first key getting to test out the heroic beacon I got the prior week, which was pretty fun. It did like 8% of my damage. It's kind of crazy. I see why everyone's using it. The DH is in a similar situation to the Druid. We don't really care. We'd love to see some more Myth Track tier. A myth track weapon, I guess, if it had the proper stats. But we'll stay as Havoc. I mean, I, I don't know, I guess Krog Tusks would be good. That would be interesting to see. Haste Mastery Ring. Uh... Okay. I don't have any tokens. I guess I'll take the ring and I'll sim it against the Critverse Ring. Can't say I'm super excited about that, but you know. Maybe it'll be decent. Mastery's pretty bad for vengeance, but haste is, is better. Oh. Okay, that's all the dungeon characters. Now we've just got the raid characters. We've got a lot. I think we like I said, I think I did seven heroic clears. I did seven heroic runs. I guess I shouldn't say clears. Mostly clears. There was six full clears. And then one five of nine. And then... I'll end up with a mythic one. Okay, so... The warrior... Can get anything from the loot table. We've cleared the raid, obviously. I mean... We also did one sixteen, so I guess, again, myth track tier would be really good. Some nice myth legs would be good. Otherwise, we're hoping for chromatic essence. Beacon would be decent. Beacon would be very decent. We're going to craft a weapon next week, so we don't really want a weapon. We don't need a cape because we have the Sark cape. So, uh, yeah. Alright. 441 gloves. Which can catalyze the tier. 434 belt with the socket, but we have the unstable frostfire belt. We've got hero shoulders, which we have. Hero helm, which we have a better one of. So I think it's just going to be the gloves. Because we can make those into tier and then eventually get those up to uh, 447. So cool. You know, okay. It's a pretty weak tier slot. You know, it's like the least statted out of the five, but. Gloves and shoulders are shitty. The chest, helm, and legs are where all the stats primarily come from. But hey, it's still an upgrade. Alright, and the Warlock. 
I only did raid on the Warlock. I think he was my second lowest item level at like 435 or 436. As you can see, most of my characters are, I, I think all of them now, are in the 435 to, you know, 440 range. Apart from like 3 or 4 who are a little above that. So this is definitely the point in the season where we can slow down and kind of have fun with what we feel like playing and not feel obligated to do more than we need to. So 436. With the raid... Uh, I mean, we're basically just looking for Chromatic Essence, Vessel of Searing Shadow, or Flowstone. And I guess the Sark Staff would be a slight stat upgrade, but... That's it. The rest of these are... There's nothing. Let's see what we can get. Man, not what you want to see. Verse Haste Boots. That's our embellish. The same bracers we have. And Verse Crit Boots. Like, uh, yeah, so we're taking a socket. Man, this, uh... Not a good start, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like getting on characters who did raid and just not seeing raid trinkets ever. It's been so hard to get any raid trinkets this this tier. I feel like I've actually looted more in raid than I have for my vaults, which seems impossible because it was the exact opposite last year. And I guess we will socket probably our helm. Our helm is most likely to stay out of these pieces. Okay, well, uh, perhaps this week. Okay, the mage did 5 of 9 heroic, and it's going to be the same story. We need raid trinkets. Most of my characters have 1 or 0 raid trinkets, and... I still have not seen an essence. It's week 14. I've been doing 4 to 5, probably on average, heroic clears a week, and we have not seen a single chromatic essence. So, we'd love to break that streak. It's kind of crazy when you think about it 14 weeks in. All right, so two raid slots. Any of the caster trinkets. We just want caster trinkets, pretty much. The rest of these like won't even be an upgrade, really. Come on, baby, let's break the streak. Ah, okay. So, verse haste boots, which my warlock got. We already have these. They're very good for fire. I will say that. A haste mastery staff. Uh, I mean, the stats are pretty good for frost. I guess if this, if I got this, I could just keep my obsidian seared hex sword for fire, and this could be my frost weapon. Because I can't even take a socket. And really, there's only one socket to get is this other ring. So yeah, I guess we'll take the staff, and it's a transmog. And you're like, man, that's it's not really hitting the spot, but. What does it look like? Pretty unimpressive. Okay, well. Surely the next one will have one. Alright, the monk. The monk did a full heroic clear. And a 16. Beacon. We want a beacon. We would kill for a fucking beacon. I think, barring that, probably a Bomb Dispenser or Chromatic Essence. Like, uh, we've got a bunch of 447 pieces already. We do need to fill out a couple of these aspects, like upgrade slots. This is a myth and he's upgraded. This is a myth. These are both myth weapons. I've been kind of lazy, but we'll get there eventually if we feel like it. So really just wanting to see a beacon. Chromatic Essence or Bomb Dispenser. Ooh, let's not be Mistweaver. Let's be Windwalker. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Hmm, a pocket anvil. So hero gloves we already have. Hero helm we already have. Crit haste myth ring. This, mm, it's got haste on it, though, which is... Haste is just terrible. Okay, let me just take a look at... Trinket Sims. I think... Elementium is actually like the worst trinket for uh for Windwalker. I think it's okay for Brew. It's a, it's a very weak for Windwalker. Or do we take 
the six tokens for a socket. We can only socket this ring or the helm. But I do think this is better than a Mag Mammoth scale, especially for single target. Mag Mammoth is not great for single target. You know what? We'll take it. We asked for a Ray Trinket. We did get one. It's obviously not the one you want to see. It's the least impactful one for a monk, but... Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Alright, Hunter. Hunter also did a full heroic clear. Last week he got a bomb dispenser from Raid. I looted it from Ziskarin, which is pretty sick. This week we are hoping for... I mean, I think it's just got to be Essence. Essence, yeah, Flowstone is a slight upgrade. Uh, I mean, it's just got to be Essence. I guess, actually, that's not true. The ring or the, like, the ring from Neltharian and the neck from Assault would also be upgrades. I, I forget that I have pretty bad jewelry on this guy. So yeah, this week I'll just I'll need to fill out the rest of my 424s to 437 crafted and, he, and replace the ring, and I'm, pre I'm pretty much good to go on this guy. I think he's my lowest character at 430. Is there ever a world... I think I open this as survival. I don't need a weapon. So if I got a weapon, I'd love to see Jarun or something else. <laughs> We're gonna go survival. Okay. Verse crit belt, which is something I have like reverse stats of. I have a crit verse belt, crit haste cloak, but that's where my embellish is. A socket, or we could take a survival weapon with haste verse. I was hoping to get Jarun. I'm gonna be honest. I really wanted to get Jarun. Or we can socket. We have a myth track helmet. And good bracers. I think we're just gonna take the socket. I'm never gonna play survival. If I got Jarun, I would have taken Jarun because it's a rare pick, but I don't really care about haste first. The stats seem like it's probably not very good anyway. Okay, well. That's another socket for us. Finest goods in the aisles. How many characters we have left? Uh, one, two, three. Okay, so... Paladin. Another heroic clear. I did not do any dungeons. I think my trinkets are pretty bad, so it's gonna be the same story. We want Beacon. We want Chromatic Essence. Uh, Anvil even would be decent. I guess the Ziskarn weapon would be a stat upgrade, but pretty boring. Mm. That's really it. As you can see, it, all the characters need trinket. This is why I've been running you know, five plus raids a week. And we're trying to get trinkets. We don't want holy because we don't want to see a Rashox because we, we're not healing on this guy. So we're going to go ret and just see what we can see. Come on, baby. Man. Bad luck. Okay, a hero track chest, but we're wearing tier. A mastery haste ring, which is pretty good, with a socket already in it. That would replace a verse crit, which is verse crit is terrible stats for for prot. Or haste mastery bracers, but I have an embellished there. I guess I could recraft the embellish onto cape. Or even belt, for that matter. The ring is kind of appealing, though. Or I take a socket. Which I could socket my belt, or... I mean, nah, I used a socket on this. I feel like I should keep this? Man. Okay, I guess we're just gonna take a socket. Some of these characters, I don't play enough to, like, realistically move all my embellish slots around. Once they're there, they're kind of just fixed. You know, this guy, he logs on to raid one heroic, and he'll do, like, one dungeon a week at most. There's just very little point in me 
spending time, like, optimizing all his stuff, and I just don't really play him. Alright, Priest. The Priest did a 5 of 9 Mythic Pug with the Friends Guild over the weekend. Since he sat for Echo, I sat myself for Echo on this character. Okay. So we've got two Mythic Raid slots. And I've obviously killed the first seven bosses of Mythic. Also, I've killed Rashok with the pug, so. Uh, essence. Essence be by far the biggest thing. Chromatic Essence. I would love to see it on this character. It would feel really good going into Sarkareth Mythic with the, the Mythic uh, Chromatic Essence. I'd also take a Mythic Vessel. It's a slight upgrade. I don't really like the Vessel that much. It's not that good outside of single target. I mean, that's really it. Um, I don't have any slots anywhere else that could use it. I could craft boots if I feel like it. That's like my last 447 piece, and that's really it. So we really just want to see... Chromatic Essence, Chromatic Essence, Chromatic Essence. Ah, oh, dude. Okay. Verse Haste Gloves. Which we're wearing a tier version of that on the Myth Track. I have... 8 Aspect Tokens already. 447 crit haste. Technically, this is a better healing weapon in dungeons. And it's an appearance. It's pretty cool looking. Or I take four tokens, which I don't need tokens for anything. I'm just gonna take the weapon. I'm gonna take the weapon. You know, that's. I mean, it's fine. I guess we're just being way too hopeful with trinkets here. We're just expecting to get one of our good trinkets and you either get the most mediocre trinket or nothing. Man, it's very hard to stay positive after that. Alright, so the Shaman. The Shaman did a boatload of dungeons. I think I did more than 20 last week. All 16 pluses because I farmed Aspect Crest. So we're going to have three Myth Track dungeon slots. In addition to that, I did a full Heroic Grade Clear. Uh, we did end up getting a myth track, or hero track, rather, loaded dice. So we don't need those. I hate being a broken record, but we'd love to see a Chromatic Essence. Or a Bomb Dispenser. Or even a Naltharian Class Trinket. Would be good. Uh, actually, I guess there's also a weird outside shot where we get myth track shoulders. That would be a slight upgrade user champion. But last week, we grinded four 447 pieces. We crafted this weapon, we recrafted these gloves, we crafted these boots, and we crafted this ring. So we did like 20-something 16 pluses, did a, a ridiculous amount of aspect crest farming. We got to 443, we were like 439 at the beginning of the week, so pretty good. So please, have mercy on us, give us a trinket, so we can steamroll Echo. Oh. Let's be enhanced. Let's not be resto. Come on, baby. Oh, man. This is so, so depressing. Okay, 441. Mastery crit boots, which we crafted. Haste mastery boots. Haste mastery myth track ring, which is good for Storm, but we're not playing Storm on Echo. We're playing Elemental. Like the Elementalist build. Haste Verse, which is bad. An Anvil, which I got last week, which is good for Storm, but again, bad for Elementalist. Hero Track Helm. Hero Track Shoulders. Or er, Wrist, sorry. So I guess, do I take a Ring upgrade? Strictly for Storm build. Or do I take a socket? Yeah, because here's my, my pocket anvil. I mean, I think I have to take a socket. It's the most consistent piece. I'll just socket my belt. <sighs> that feels so bad, dude. That feels so bad. The widest selection Ooh. Not a good week, boys. Not a good week. 
And then the affixes we're looking at. Tyrannical, Volcanic, Sanguine. Okay, it's a really good Tyrannical week. This is a very easy Tyrannical week, so if you're still somehow pushing for keys, score, or portals, this is a good Tyrannical week to do it. My wares were made with knowledge. Let's just buy a gem real quick before I forget. Come see me again. But I hope you guys had some good vaults this week. Um, I will be streaming more on Twitch probably two or three times this week, probably tomorrow night. And then Friday, and then my raid days are Sunday, Monday, so I normally stream those on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Veronix. Plan is to keep kind of playing retail, you know, still like fill out the last of my couple characters, and then when Hardcore comes out, I will be splitting time with Hardcore. That's on the 24th, so about a week and a half I'll be starting Hardcore. I'm going to be playing a Gnome Warrior most likely. Seems like it'll be a fun solo project, so we'll be doing that. Hope you guys have some good vaults, and we'll catch you next week. Peace.